In this video I will demonstrate how to download and install reshade presets for Ravenfield. This process will be the same for all other single player games in your Steam library. However, the reshade presets featured in this video are specifically designed for Ravenfield. step is to download and install Reshade. To do this, head to the official Reshade website and click the big purple download button in the middle of the screen. Once it's downloaded, open the Reshade setup.exe file. The setup menu should then show a list of all the reshade compatible games installed on your machine. Select Ravenfield and click next. Now make sure you have DirectX 10, 11 and 12 selected. When selecting effects to install, uncheck all and then click check all again. Then click next. Once everything is done downloading, click on finish. Reshade should now be installed inside Ravenfield. I recommend launching the game to make sure that the install was successful. On the top of your screen you should see this message notifying you that Reshade has been successfully installed. By default the home key on your keyboard will open the Reshade menu. I recommend clicking continue and going through the tutorial. Another thing I recommend doing is going to the settings tab and assigning a hotkey to toggle all effects. This will be very useful later as you will probably want to turn your preset off while navigating the game's menus. Currently you have no presets installed so Reshade is not going to have any effect on the game's visuals. To install a new preset, open Steam, right click on Ravenfield, then click on manage and browse local files. This is the location where you will need to place new preset configuration files. As you can see the only one currently installed is the default. There are many places to find new reshade presets, but in this video I'll only be covering the ones I myself have created. The best place to download any of my reshade presets from is my discord server which is linked in the description. Here I share all the presets I create and include loads of preview screenshots. This is also the best place to go if you encounter any problems or want to give feedback. Once you find a preset you like you can just click on the download icon. A couple of my presets will also be shared in the description using a google drive link. Regardless of where you get your presets from, your browser will probably give you a warning alerting you to the fact that you are downloading an INI file. You will need to click confirm before the file can be placed inside your Ravenfield folder. The configuration file contains a list of all the shaders it makes use of, as well as all their settings and properties. If for some reason you wanted to, you could manually enter all these values inside Reshade. With the Ravenfield folder open, all you need to do is drag and drop or cut and paste the preset configuration files from your downloads folder. Now you can just launch the game as normal. Keep in mind that Reshade will work even in no mods mode. There's still one last thing left to do as some shaders will require you to flip the depth map. To do this I recommend starting an instant action game with no bots.
Once you've loaded in, open the reshade menu again with the home key on your keyboard. You can cycle between installed presets using these arrows. To fix this weird floating shadow slash reflection, you'll need to flip the depth map. This can be done by unticking the performance mode box on the bottom right of the menu. In this case, the shader that's creating this effect is MXAO and the depth map can be flipped by clicking on edit global processor definitions and changing all the reshade depth input is values to 1. Then click enter or simply click out of the window. Once everything is compiled again, you should be done. Just keep in mind that this change will apply to all presets you currently have installed. A quick and easy way to customize the look of a preset to your own liking is to just simply toggle certain effects on and off. You can also assign a hotkey to an individual effect. Here are three more graphics related mods that I'm currently using in my videos and I think they pair really well with Reshade. And that's pretty much it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments, and hopefully I've linked all the mods used in this video in the description.